Hey y'all, so I'm going to do a voiceover because when I filmed this, it was like 3 in the morning and I wasn't trying to catch a fade with my neighbors, but anyways, um, I just wanted to get glam and we're going to get beat today, even though it looks it looks pretty soft. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Jordan makeup she did for that one red table talk, even though I wasn't really planning on doing it because I know a couple of people did that tutorial, but... Um, now looking at it now, it looks so much like it. It's kind of more of a soft glam look. It's not really super dramatic. Um, in the beginning, I'm just showing you guys the products I use for my base. Starting with is the Farsali Unicorn Essence. I also use the Belief or Belief Moisturizing Balm right over here. And I also use the Lancome La Base Primer. I just used it mostly um, in the center of my face, like under my eyes and around my mouth. Really anywhere where it seems to be a little porous. And here I'm just showing y'all basically me just color correcting. Y'all have seen this a million times. I just want to go ahead and show y'all because I have been seeing a new way to do it. Um, a lot of my faves are just using kind of an orangey tinted foundation, but... I don't want to try my look, so I just went ahead and color corrected. I usually place it on with a synthetic brush and I just blend it out with my fingers. So that's basically what I'm doing. I just make sure that it's around any places that I notice I get gray if I don't color correct. Here I'm just shaking up my Makeup Forever foundation, again Y385, and we are going to get beat, so we're doing three pumps, yes ma'am. We're not going to use everything, um, not the whole three pumps, we're also going to spread that out to cleaning up the brows, um, mostly the top, not the bottom, we're going to use a concealer for that. And I'm just showing you guys, um, I mostly target it everywhere other than <laughs> right under my eyes or on my face. Um, like I've mentioned before, you don't really want to add a lot of product under the eyes because you're going to use hella concealer later. And if you just do foundation and your concealer, it's a cakey ass mess and you get terrible creasing. So as y'all can see, I really avoid under the eyes and make sure you're blending your goddamn neck because especially when you're going to out showing your neck and your chest, you got to make sure that shit matches. Here I'm just brushing down my eyebrows so I can go ahead and clean them with um, a bit of the leftover foundation I had. And I'm going to go ahead and get started with my contour slash bronzing with the e.l.f. foundation palette. I mix in these two shades. I do it in the back of my hand now because I feel like the product gets warmed up. There's a color. It's pretty olivey and that's why I really fuck with the whole cream palette because you kind of get to make your own custom shade. And here I'm just going to basically be showing y'all something y'all have seen before. Using the Real Techniques brush, pushing the product in, focusing on those areas that the sun would usually hit. And for this look, I'm actually going to avoid putting it on the center of my forehead because I want a really nice bright highlight. Kind of what we did on our last video with the Black Smoky Eye number 5000, I think, or 5 million, I forgot. Here I'm just going ahead and hitting it with my beauty blender and of course using the side which I blended out my foundation with that way they just both merge. I just want it to be nice and seamless as y'all can see. Okay, skin. Now using the Cover FX Power Play Concealer in the shade G Plus Medium 2. It always gives off a bit of excess so I just put it in the back of my hand and I'll use that to clean my brows after so here i'm just highlighting my face the reason why i chose this one over the born this way was because this one matches my chest perfectly like i saw in the beginning i ended up wearing a dress so i wanted it to be beat but still seamless i didn't want it to be you know face and body two different fucking people type of shit So here I'm taking the product lightly just with what I have left over and using my finger because it'll give me more coverage than you know going in with a beauty blender. The beauty blender will shear it out just a tad bit more. So I'm laying it down. Then I'm going to blend out with my beauty blender bottom part first that I use for all over the face. That way that part is seamless. 
and then I'm going to use the pointy side, the coney side I guess, under my eye because it hasn't been touched and it's going to give way more pigment. It's going to be only the concealer shade if that makes any sense. So this is why it's important to start out cute and sheer. That way y'all can build it up if you guys need a little bit more coverage. And now I'm going to go ahead and set it with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. Again in banana bread. Y'all this is dead ass the only powder I can get away with baking. So that's exactly what we're doing today. Again. Um, just make sure everything's nice and blended out before you set. Because otherwise go home ho like this over. Set only where you highlighted and we're gonna set all over the forehead. Do not set the lids We want to go ahead and keep that nice and wet because we're gonna lay down the eyeshadow um, on there first Now for today, I'm gonna actually set my eyebrows as well hoping that that way the brow gel um, grips a little bit more and we get a little bit more color on there which in the end i mean it didn't really do nothing crazy but i felt like it did make a slight difference all right y'all so this is a morphe dirt to create we're going to be using that color right there and honestly don't use that color if you're like my complexion or lighter it was too dark so i actually grabbed a anastasia Beverly hills um, powder contour kit and I use the shade peaches and cream. I believe I actually left like a little note for y'all to see that one Way way better. I would have saved myself all the layering I had to do if I just would have laid down with that one first, but it's all right It still come out pretty cute. So that one right there And I'm actually gonna go ahead and build on it right now, which is a clip y'all about to see Okay, if you have hooded eyes, I just want you to go ahead and follow where your inner corner is at and go all around in a circle. You are going to grab an E23 brush, uh, another Morphe brush, and you're going to grab that same color and just spread it out everywhere. That way you kind of have a blanket. Again, it's a soft, soft cut crease, so you don't want any harsh lines. You just kind of want it to fake being a crease up there. All right. We multitasking over here, so I'm just going to go ahead and wipe all the powder from my face and just go ahead and use this Morphe brush. It's from this bag, so it doesn't have a number, but any brush should do. Just have a light hand. Then I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker bronzer. This is in the shade Island Ting, and I'm going to be using this for my faking of the crease since I am going to use this bronzer for all over my face. I want all the colors to, you know be coordinated and shit so this is a m433 it's a perfect brush just because it's flat enough to really just get into that little socket in there but fluffy enough that you're not going to get like a harsh straight line so you just want to go ahead and follow out kind of straight onto your eyebrow and you just want to go ahead and fluff it around, make sure you kind of blend it upwards, but not too smoked out either. You still want to follow that little socket that your eye naturally has. Grabbing another MB, another flat brush really is just a little bit fluffier than the last one I'm gonna grab that little warm color there and here we are gonna be carving out into that line and you're gonna be kind of digging not not hard y'all okay don't be hurting yourself but y'all feel me you're just gonna be cutting out that line kind of what you would do with concealer well with powder that way it's kind of doing that work for you and you don't have to have that really harsh concealer line you want it to be soft and going back in with no extra product, just grabbing the M433, you're going to be blending it out just a bit. Um, like I mentioned, I'm going to be building with the peaches and cream. So that's what's going to really do the job for us when we're doing the cut crease. So just go ahead and blend out just slightly. Here again, like I mentioned, I'm going to be using the Sunstalker by Fenty Beauty in Island Ting. And I'm just bronzing up. The next clip is just going to be me showing y'all. You don't want a straight line, okay? You kind of want to take it up to your cheek, almost like blush. It's bronzer, y'all, not contour. I know I call it contour bronzer, but it's not contour, all right?
So here I'm using the NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner. Definitely recommend. It doesn't crack. I used to be obsessed with the Rimmel Glam Eyes one, but I couldn't find it anymore. That one used to definitely crack on me, but um, I'm a fucking OG with this shit. So I try to film myself um, doing it for y'all. It was a little out of focus. I apologize, but I'm just trying to do a thin line. I kind of flatten out the brush by um, flattening it out on the top, and then I go in with the line. As y'all are going to see on the next clip, I just kind of close my eyes and I angle the line towards that, the end of the little soft brown that we have there. That way you kind of go ahead and close off the cut crease that way and it kind of just gives you like a nice cat eye effect. Here you're basically just making a triangle. I'm trying to make it pretty flat. I'm not trying to do like a really precise triangle to a flat line. Um, with my eyes, it kind of works better if it looks kind of like a long line. You'll see it after. I didn't do both eyes on camera, but short strokes is definitely your best friend, especially when you don't want to fuck up your face because I have sweaty as hands. So yeah. I did cut my cheek up with that banana bread, so here I'm grabbing a fluffy brush, again from a Morphe bag, um, no number, and I'm just also kind of running the excess all over my face, anywhere that feels like it hasn't been set, and it looks like I'm going in, but bitch, this shit fluffy, like, you gotta go soft. And now I'm gonna be using MAC blush in Modern Mandarin, and I'm gonna be going in with the blush. I kinda went a little overboard, so I ended up going on top with some setting powder with the same brush. Shit, I actually didn't write the number, but all the brushes are gonna be down in the description, okay? So this is an R14, and I'm just going back in with that Island Ting, and just touching up just a bit because I kinda lost a little bit of that bronze once I added the setting powder with the fluffy brush and toning down the blush. Um, now for this video, I did use individual lashes. I showed them here. Um, I didn't film it because it was the first time I was going to do individuals, which y'all, yeah, I've been sleeping on them. I loved it. So next time you guys will probably see me apply them. Now this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I wanted something icier than what I usually do. Y'all know I don't like highlighting, but I want to go ahead and always go ham on the cupids and the tip of the nose. This one has a peach tint, so it's not that ashy type of icy color. It's just right for my complexion. And I actually went ahead and mixed a um, matte white shade, which is Peach Meringue from the Too Faced Peachy Matte Palette. And I also mixed in the highlighter to create like a nice little highlight, which I focus on the upper part mostly. If you have nylon from MAC, you could skip this step because that shit would be bomb. Here, of course, the magic rule, you go ahead and use um, the brown from the Morphe Dare to Create and Island Ting, and I blow it out under with that flat brush. Here, I'm grabbing Fenty Beauty's Matchsticks, and I actually got this tip from Priscilla Ono on one of their little Instagram tutorials, and this is an R44, another one, I have a million of those. And I'm gonna go ahead and do um, the waterline with this. I love this trick, it just, opens the eye up and here's a glossier mascara which y'all fuck i love this shit it just makes it look so nice and non-clumpy i threw away the maybelline cheetah one there ain't no going back i'm obsessed with this if you're not really into high-end mascaras i mean shit i ain't either but this one's pretty nice y'all should check it out so here's where i'm building that peaches and cream not gonna lie i wet it a little bit with my spit but don't be nasty, um, it's just me, and you can use some Fix Plus. And I went ahead and carved it out. As y'all can see, it really did the job. Now I'm just using that blonde brow tint um, from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And now I'm lining my lips with the MAC Cork. No. Yeah? Yeah, it's Cork. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Cork lip liner. And I'm just blending it out with my fingers just to make the line a little softer. If you're in the chocolate mommy type of range, you need this color, MAC Taupe. Thank me later. It's such a beautiful shade. And I just put Dose of Colors Honey I'm Home gloss on top. Set it off, y'all. I'm obsessed with this combo. Yeah. 
Usually when I'm this beat, my lunares kind of disappear. So I'm just filling them in with um, chestnut lip liner from MAC. I like to do that one and the one under my eye because then I feel like Yasmin from Bratz. And that's just like my mission, period. Ta and we reached the end. So here's the look. Yeah, the slow-mo for y'all. Who the fuck? I don't know. I don't know who I think I am. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and like and comment. For all, leave me down a comment below if you have any questions on the look or if you want to drop down anything you want to see later on. And I hope this helped y'all out a little bit, maybe. Sorry about the voiceover, y'all. I have hella caught her mouth. Bless up. I'm trying not to talk loud because it's like 5 in the morning, everyone is asleep, and my neighbors can hear um, basically anything, so I'm trying to keep it, keep it on mute because I'm not trying to catch a fade with one of these bitches out here, so. This is a wig though, I found it, I thought I had thrown her away, you know, I kept saying that shit. And I found it, and this bitch is thick as fuck. I just drained her out so she would be less poofy. Um, I did get a razor, and I went through it with the comb to thin her out. But I feel like, you know, she didn't thin out that much. Um, I think I'm going to try to fix this wig. I'll show y'all if I do buy the hair thinner. Because I saw this video where she does it. And I'll link the video down below once I do that one, but basically that's all that video is going to be showing. Um, I also put some dry shampoo to take away the shine, and I feel like I did a good, um, like that's a good tip. I feel like that's definitely working. I did it mostly on the roots because, I don't know, I kind of like how shiny the hair is on the bottom. I'm gonna I'm go now because... I'm 100% sure someone's looking, I don't know, okay. I'm scared to look, okay, I didn't see someone, <laughs> bye y'all.